Esti Cuellar. I'm from Springwoods High School in Houston, Texas. Um, I found out about the Flat Classroom Project from being uh, out active on the internet uh, through Vicki Davis and Julie Lindsay. This past summer, it was the summer of 2008, I participated in an online professional development opportunity with my district. And through that opportunity, I learned about all different kinds of Web 2.0 technologies and how I can incorporate those technologies within my classroom. Well, through that professional development, I forged a friendship with Vicki Davis and Julie Lindsay, and they let me know about the Flat Classroom Project. So I applied, and my classroom was accepted. The culmination of the project was for my students and myself to participate in the first annual, the inaugural Flat Classroom Conference. So here we are in Doha, and we are learning some incredible new tools that we can take back into our classrooms and I'm excited about it. Glad to share it with you. One of the sections that I teach at Springwoods High School is sports and entertainment marketing. We have a book. Um, it's not the best book in the world, but it's the only one we have. Well, I'm a project-driven type of person, and so it was really important to me to find a way to bring this particular class to life for my students. What I decided to do was base the entire class around different types of projects. One of the big projects that we worked on is one that I call Rock On. Uh, the original project was a pencil and paper type project where the students had to create all of their artifacts by drawing posters and those types of things. Well, because I like to incorporate Web 2.0 technologies in my classroom, I decided that I would digitize the project. So I took the original project, revamped it, so that that way we could utilize Wikispace to be able to post all of our art artifacts digitally. So what the students do with this project is that they have to plan out a 20-city U.S. tour for a musical entity. They have to develop their own band name, their own band identity um, through a biography, through developing a band biography. With that biography, they have to carve out a niche market, and then they have to find a way to market to that niche market to get them to come to their concerts across the United States. We incorporated mashups, we incorporated uh, interactive Google Maps, the students had to research the towns, the venues, how large the venues were. If they were going to be playing in Chicago, Illinois, they had to have a local band open for them from the Chicago, Illinois area, or the New York City area, or the Houston, Texas area, or wherever they were. They developed concert posters, they developed backstage passes, they even created their own tour buses. And all of those artifacts are posted onto the wiki to share with other people.